ഹലോ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഓൺലൈൻ മാത്സ് ക്ലാസ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സി ദ ടോപ്പിക് അബൌട്ട് ഗ്രാഫ് എ ഗ്രാഫ് ഷീറ്റ് എ ഗ്രാഫ് ഷീറ്റ് ഈസ് ജസ്റ്റ് എ വിഷ്വൽ മെത്തഡ് ഫോർ ഷോയിങ് എ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ നമ്പേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് ഡാഷ് വി സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ഹൗ ടു റെപ്രസെൻറ്റ് ദ ഇൻറ്റീജസ് ഓൺ നമ്പർ ലൈൻ ഹരിസോണ്ടലി യു നോ വെരി വെൽ the number line using the integers now take one more number line vertically using horizontal line and vertical line we draw a graph we take the graph sheet keeping both number line mutually perpendicular to each other at at zeros as given in the figure zero as the given in the figure the number line and marking the integers should be placed along the dark line of the graph sheet let us take the graph sheet this is the graph sheet this is the graph sheet you know the integers this is right side right side of the zero is right side of the zero is positive values 1 2 3 4 etc and left side of the zero is negative values that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so like this is called a x coordinate this is called a x coordinate same way vertical line the vertical line so above that is um, positive side that this is y and this is y dash this is x and x dash this is positive value of x x coordinate this is the negative value of the x coordinate this is a positive value up is a positive value and down is the negative value of the y coordinate vertical perpendicular line this is a perpendicular line so mutually perpendicular to each other intersecting point is called intersecting point of the perpendicular line zero or o represent origin origin this is called origin origin 0 0 0 this is called an origin intersecting at one point that point is called origin next one the sign in the graph x coordinate of the point is a positive along ox positive along ox and negative along o x dash and y coordinate of the point is positive along o y and negative along o y dash next one is a order pair next one is a order pair order pair means see a point is denoted by a pair a comma b of two numbers a comma b a is called a x square x value and b is called a y value of two numbers a and b listed in the specific order in which a represent the distance along the x axis and b always a represent that is a represent distance along x axis and b represent distance along y axis it is called a order pair it is called an order pair a comma b a comma b origin 0 comma 0 is also a one of the order pair one of the order pair 0 is a value and b value is a another 0 this is also an one of the order pair next one is x coordinate is it is habitually to name the x coordinate as abscissa x coordinate is called as a abscissa and y coordinate as ordinate y coordinate is also called as ordinate x coordinate is abscissa order pair for example order pair is 4 comma 3 where is 4 comma 3 first value is 4 4 is consider as x coordinate that is the positive x positive value this is here 1 2 3 4 this is 4 and y coordinate value that is b value is 3 
from y 1 2 3 here 3 it's a dotted and 4 joining the intersecting point this point is called 4 comma 3 this point is called 4 comma 3 next one is a quadrant next one is quadrant what is meant by quadrant the x the coordinate axis divides the plane of the graph into four regions called quadrant this is called a, this is y coordinate this is x coordinate divided into four quadrant this is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant it should be it is it is a convenient that the quadrants are named in anti clockwise sense clockwise means this is a clockwise clockwise rotation but it consider as a start from the positive side of the x-axis here start from positive side it should be in anti-clockwise direction from this this is anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction this is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant and then so value value should be first quadrant here x is positive value y is also positive value plus plus in second quadrant here x is negative value and y is positive value minus plus third quadrant minus minus here minus value y also minus value so minus minus and then fourth quadrant x is positive so plus and y is a negative value plus minus Next coordinate of a point on the x-axis. If y is equal to 0, then the coordinate x, 0 lies on x-axis. If here, let us take it as here 1, comma, uh, 1, comma 0. Here 1, 2, 3, here 0. Here 1, 2, 3. Here, let us take it as 1 comma 0. 1 comma 0 or 2 comma 0. 2 comma 0 means first value is x and then y value is 0. That means x is 2, y is 0 means intersect at this point is called x axis. That is lies on x axis or x coordinate. Simply say x coordinate. And then next example, if x is equal to 0, x value is 0, then the coordinate y comma 0 lies on y axis that is 0 comma 3 this is 0 and y value is 3 so intersect at this point this is called y axis or y coordinate y axis or y coordinate plotting the points on the graph sheet so just plotting the points on the graph sheet before going to plotting the points so first uh, without plotting the point you have to find the quadrant how you find the quadrant you know the plus plus and the minus minus and plus minus you know that is consider the following points 4 comma 3 in which quadrant plus plus means first quadrant and then minus plus means minus plus means second quadrant and then minus minus means third quadrant minus minus and then next one is 5 comma minus 2 that is plus minus means fourth quadrant and the next one is 6 comma 0 6 6 first x value is uh, y value is 0 x value is given so x coordinate and 0 comma minus 5 means 0 comma minus 5 here so y coordinate lies on y coordinate just plot the point 4 comma 3 where is 4 in x is 4 x is 4 so here x is 4 and y is 3 this is the value m and next one is minus similarly similarly you have to plot the point like this right i think so you're all understood revise all the sums and do home test in your home be safe and be good thank you children